So today we are sharing the Spellbinders June card kit. And as usual, the kits come with a bunch of die cuts. Um, you don't have to do much stamping and stuff if you don't want to. It does come with a stamp set, but most of the time I seldom use it because the die cuts are so pretty and and well put together that you're able to create scenes and create your cards real fast. For this one, I'm using a bunch of the die cut flowers and leaves and animals and create a, a kind of a jungle scene for the first card. And it seems like the lion is in the back there stalking. <laughs> is that a gecko? And the zebra in the front. So I cut a piece of green card stock and create the grass in the bottom. And then I'm just putting the die cuts together and even the sentiments. Sentiment was a die cut. It says have a wild day. And then we're gonna add it to a piece of pattern paper or card base, decorate our envelope, and that's it for card number one. For card number two, I use this pre-made card from the kit, and I'm gonna cover up that old happy day with this pretty tag, fishtail tag, and I'm using a die cut bunch of balloons which I'm gonna add some foam adhesive to and then I love these little cute little foam adhesive Then I add in this bow at the bottom of the balloons. Add um, a sentiment that says, celebrate. I'm gonna add it right across the one with the tag like so. Then we're gonna add it to a pattern paper. Take away the envelope. That's it for card number two. For card three, Another one of the pre-printed cards and same bunch of balloons. This one says hip hip hooray repeatedly in the background and I'm adding another bow to our balloon. This balloon actually adhere with liquid glue and then we're just going to add a sentiment in the center. Then I add some foam adhesive on the entire back of our card. Then we add it to this night, um, night, nice <laughs> striped, diagonal striped pattern paper. Add it to our card base. And I'm going to use um, some glaze from Nouveau and add it to the balloons just to add some dimension and pop them a little.
Then we decorate our envelope and that's it for card number three. For card number four, I started with this Christian tag and we're going to add the little congratulations that got at the bottom. And then we're using two stickers of houses to go in front of our tag. And this card you can use to congratulate someone on your buying their first home or buying a home or something like that. So we're going to add the two houses at the top of the sentiment. Then we cut the top of the tag off and we're going to add it to this pattern paper, pink piece of pattern paper, just at the top left. And then we're going to add this entire thing to our card base, decorate an envelope, and that's it for card number four. For card number five, I've started with another one of these pre-printed cards. And this one has the sentiment already built in with a bunch of uh, um, pictures of the animals. And I'm just going to add that die cut, um, what do you call that, at the top. You know, the stuff they use to decorate a party. <laughs> ah, it's a <the> tags. <laughs> but I'm going to add it at the top, like so, because of course they're attending a birthday party. Then we're going to use this die cut hat to put on our giraffe and since this the monkey is sitting on our present I'm assuming he's the birthday guy so we didn't have a hat for him though but he is too cute then we add this um, to a card base and decorate our envelope and that's it for card number five Card number six, another one of the cards. It says today we will be today will be totally, and I'm gonna add this cute little leopard in his birthday hat on the side, on the left side of the sentiment, and I'm just gonna add since it says today will be totally some kind of wonderful. I'm gonna add some kind of wonderful in the bottom, also one of the die cuts. Then we added a bunch of flowers and leaves at the top right. Decorate our envelope and add some glaze at the top of our flowers. So pretty. This is one of my favorites. And that's it for card number six. For card number seven, I started with another prepared card, and this already has a scene with a little giraffe in the corner. We're gonna add some speckled egg, speckled egg distress ink to create a blue sky in our background. And then we have another sticker 
with the same image um, facing the other way and we're gonna add here that sticker in front of that but first we're gonna add our little grass in the bottom So we add our little guy, then add our sentiment. It says, love you lots. They're actually on a date. <laughs> and the flowers are already in the right, top right corner. So we're gonna leave that. And maybe I'll add something over it, but then we're gonna add a little pink little heart in between the two, the two, um, I mean the couple. And as you can see on the right side, I add a dimensional sticker over the image that was on the right corner. Um, add my card to a piece of pattern paper, add it to our card base, decorate our envelope, and that's it for card number seven. Card number eight, we're using another card. It says, you deserve all the good things. We're gonna add it to this pink piece of pattern paper. And we're trying to arrange a scene of things that you'll get on your birthday. So I pick out a bunch of die cuts to see what, what I like. And then we'll put the scene together. So I decided, I decided on the tag at the top with birthday cake, birthday hat, some flowers, and I'm just gonna add that to a card base, decorate our envelope, and that's it for card number eight. For card number nine, I love that image of the tiger or leopard, whatever that is, at the top, but I thought the paper was a little flat, so I, I'm adding a little color using my distress ink. And the distress ink I'm using is one lipstick.
Then I use this die cut, which I'm gonna add to the head of my leopard, or like I said, leopard or tiger, which one whatever it is. But I'm also adding a little color of the same one lipstick around the headpiece. I wanted the face to pop a little more, so I used a black gel pen to go around the circumference of the face shape. And I thought that made it better, so I just went over most of the lines on the, the face. Then I decided to go over the sentiment at the bottom that says always gorgeous. Always unique. Always you. Then we add our headpiece to our cute little animal. <laughs> And then we're going to add some glaze on the flower in the center of her, her head. We're going to add it to our card base, decorate our envelope, and that's it for card number nine. For card number ten, I'm using this prepaid, prepaid. <laughs> pre-printed card again and it has a bunch of sentiments and I decided to cut the top one off using these die cut rainbows from the kit and it just says more more of a bunch of stuff more smiles more laughter more happiness more flowers more rainbows and we're gonna cover up the bottom sentiment with another rainbow Then we add this to a piece of pattern paper, add it to our card base, and we also add that pretty aqua card in the back of the original card, and that's it for card number 10. For the bonus card, I'm going to use a bunch of these um, speech bubble stickers, and I'm adding it to the speech bubble card, pretty much. And I'm picking out a bunch of sentiments that I want to go together, different colors, and just add them within the speech bubble on the piece of cardstock. Once I've chosen the ones I like, I'm gonna add it to this pretty striped aqua paper. But first, added that pink card in the back of the original card and then we add it to our card base decorate our envelope and that's it for the bonus card i want to thank you guys for watching again and i hope you enjoy the cards in this kit and i still have about four more kits to go or three something like that and then i will be on track with what's current and again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time bye